Hello friends, this video on understanding numbers part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have learned so much about different numbers, the larger numbers, smaller numbers, how to name them, how to find their positions, how to find the positions of digits in a number. So we have learned a lot about numbers. So now it's time to talk about something little different. Now we have been learning about the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is basically the Hindu Arabic system. So here we will talk about numbers, but which are Roman numbers. So these numbers came from the Romans in the ancient times and they were very widely used during those times, but now they are not that widely used, but still we use them even now. So we will learn about Roman numerals. So where do we see Roman numerals? Clock or even your watch. So do have you ever seen one, two, three, four written in this fashion? So this is not our how we write one, two, three, four. We write one like this, we write two like this, we write three like this, four, five, six, and so on. But in the clocks, you generally see them written like this. So these are nothing but Roman numerals. So basically, this is the way one, two, three, four is written in the Roman system. Or in if you look at your textbooks. So on your textbooks, you would see that class 10 is not written like this. Instead of 10, it is written like this. So this is also the Roman number. Many times in, in your textbooks or in your notebooks, you see that whenever something is written in points, so those points are also not written as 1, 2, 3, 4. They are written in Roman numbers. So these are some of the places where you actually witness Roman numbers. So now we will spend some time learning what are these Roman numbers and how do we write 1, 2, 3, 4 in Roman numerals. Now these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all these what we study is the Hindu Arabic system. So this is the Hindu Arabic system. But one of the early systems of writing numbers was the Roman system. So here the numbers are not represented like how we represent it in the Hindu Arabic system. Instead, the numbers are represented by combination of letters of the Latin alphabet. Like how we have our English alphabet A, B, C, D. So similarly, uh, the letters from the Latin alphabet were taken and those letters were used to represent these numbers. Now, their use continued even after the decline of the Roman Empire, but from 14th century onwards, Roman numerals gradually began to be replaced by the Hindu Arabic numerals, that is the 1, 2, 3, 4, which we study now. But even today, there are minor applications of the Roman numerals that still exist, like I told you, the watches, the clocks, there we still see the Roman numbers being used. So here on the screen, you can see that for every number, like one, you have a representation in the Roman system. And these representations are basically combination of the alphabet. So you see, this is like capital I, and this is like a capital V. This is like a capital X. So basically, the letters of the alphabet are you, the combination of the letters of the alphabet are used to represent the numbers. So this is how we represent the first 10 numbers. So for 1, we write it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So what are we going to do? learn in this section is how do we write? I mean, is it that we need to memorize how to write each number in the Roman system? No. There are certain rules by which we can write any number in Roman system. Let's say if I give you a number like 500, you can write it in the Roman system. If I ask you to write 93, you should be able to write it in the Roman system. So we will learn how to read and write the Roman numerals. So here on this slide, we will look at some of the important Roman numerals. Now, once you know these Roman numerals, you'll be able to write all other numbers using these. Just that you should be able, to, you should know the rules, how to write them. Now, these important numerals are one, which is written 
like this with one capital I, that's one. Five, which is written by a capital V. Ten, which is a capital X. Fifty, which is written by a capital L. Hundred is a capital C. Five hundred is a capital D. And one thousand is a capital M. So you see, they, these are all English alphabets which are used to denote these numbers. One, five, ten, fifty, hundred, five hundred and one thousand. So now have a look at this very uh, carefully. You need to remember these important numerals. So once you remember these, it will be very easy for you to write any other number you want to. So now we will be discussing about the rules. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.